Welcome everyone to today's developer update. Super exciting news, we're talking about BlizzCon today. Now I know it's a little bit early and we're not quite to BlizzCon yet, but we have a very special feature coming just for BlizzCon that we wanna tell you about as early as possible. And that feature is called the Overwatch World Cup Viewer. So the Overwatch World Cup Viewer obviously is gonna be a way for you to watch the Overwatch World Cup in a way that you've never seen before. But let me go into some detail on how that's going to work. Prior to BlizzCon, we are gonna put up a special beta version of the feature because we need to test this more than anything else. And that beta version of the Overwatch World Cup Viewer will be available to you only in the Battle.net client, which unfortunately means that the beta of this will only be available for our PC players. Now, what will the Overwatch World Cup viewer enable you to do? You can watch all of the matches in real time as they're happening live from a spectator point of view, just like our professional esports observers do, which means you can move the cameras around, you can watch from first person, you can watch from third person, you can use a free cam to move around the levels and watch the exciting Overwatch World Cup matches from any view that you, you deem awesome. Of course, for those of you who don't have access to the Overwatch World Cup viewer, you can also watch the Overwatch World Cup on all of the streams that will be normally available to you. And you can go to the Overwatch World Cup website to see exactly where those are gonna be. But there's more to the Overwatch World Cup viewer than just watching the matches live. And one of my favorite things about the viewer and the way that it works is it also enables you to watch the replays of every match that will be played during the semifinals and finals at BlizzCon. So you can go back and you can watch from any angle all of the exciting plays that happened. You also have control over things like the camera speed. So if you wanna watch you know, in a quarter time and watch it very, very slow motion to really understand how the pros were doing all of those moves, you can do that. You can also speed things up. You can jump around in the, in the timeline. Um, we've enabled some other features with the World Cup viewer as well, like that top-down map view where you get the little icons on each of the heroes that shows you if they're stunned, if they're casting an ability, um, and uh, shows you where their health is at and, and their ultimate status, so you can turn that on as well. We think it's a really fun feature, and most of all, and a lot of you are probably wondering, you know, well, I love Overwatch, I, I might not be super into esports, you know, I wanna check out World Cup, but, you know, why is this feature interesting to me if I'm not gonna watch World Cup? Well, by testing the beta version of the Overwatch World Cup viewer, it allows us to work on the technology that will one day allow us to bring these features to all of Overwatch, both PC and console, in not only an eSports setting, but for all of us as individuals. Can you imagine going and watching one of your own matches later, but being able to put the camera wherever you want um, in that sort of replay view? We think that would be pretty amazing. So to summarize, the Overwatch World Cup viewer kind of gives us two big features that we can test out for future Overwatch eventually. The first one is the ability to have up to millions of people watch uh, Overwatch in a live setting directly through the game client. And the second feature is a replay uh, feature that allows you to re-watch matches that have already happened. Early on, this will only be for the World Cup and will require a special version of Overwatch only available on PC. But at a later date, we're trying to use this beta to enable the technology to reach every single one of our Overwatch players. So we think that's really exciting. Now, some other BlizzCon news that I think is important to mention, and this is just in terms of setting expectations for, for you all. I know that a lot of you tend to get in your mind what we've done in the past, and so you anticipate what we're gonna do at, at BlizzCon this year. Um, and I've, I've read a lot of this on social media where you sort of predict what's gonna be announced or not announced at, at BlizzCon. I wanna be explicitly clear that we're not announcing a new map this year at BlizzCon. So in the past, we've announced 
Oasis and we've announced Blizzard World. Um, both were announced at BlizzCon. To be honest, we felt like they got a little bit lost in the shuffle, both during the, the timing of announcing at BlizzCon and also the time at which we released them. They didn't have as big of an impact as we really wanted, and we feel like a new map is something very, very special. So we are definitely working on new map content. We know that's something that you all love and you all request often. So don't think that by us not announcing something at BlizzCon, it, it does not mean that there's no work going on. We're definitely working on new map content. You're just not gonna have any new map content announced at BlizzCon. That does not mean that there won't be amazing announcements at BlizzCon. We think the content we have for BlizzCon is gonna be awesome, and I wish I could share it with all of you right now. Um, but you'll have to wait till early November. Uh, make sure to tune in. Now, just a couple other housekeeping notes on what's going on in Overwatch right now. We are making some balance changes. Um, the balance changes are for what we call patch 1.30. Um, that patch is going to, in essence, I'm not going to go into all the d details, but expect buffs for Roadhog, Reaper, Symmetra, and Mercy. Um, and I know that both um, Roadhog and Mercy are discussed probably more than some of the other heroes. Um, Mercy will be getting a buff specifically to Valkyrie that we're experimenting with and we think um, should be pretty awesome for her and um, be a, a welcome change to the hero. And with Roadhog, there's a lot going on. We want to um, improve how the hook feels for, for Roadhog and also uh, work on some of the shotgun consistency. There will be more details coming out. I know you probably have a lot of questions hearing that, um, but we will be releasing detailed patch notes on what those changes are. And as always, we'll include developer comments to explain our point of view of why we're making the changes. Whether or not the changes will make it all the way to live is yet to be seen. Of course, we'll We'll be monitoring both PTR feedback and playing on the, the PTR ourselves to see if those changes are good or not. Anyway, thanks for hearing us out. We really hope as many of you possible help us to test the Overwatch World Cup viewer. We've been working very hard on it and it's very promising technology for the future of Overwatch and the future of cool features to come. Thanks for everything and we hope you enjoy BlizzCon as much as, as, as we're going to. Thank you.